Hello everyone. This video introduces Xenos, a new plugin synthesizer that implements and extends dynamic stochastic synthesis, or DSS, an algorithm invented by the composer Yanis Xenakis. DSS is a digital synthesis method that generates waves of variable periodicity by applying random variations to a repeating wave cycle. The engine driving these variations is a set of random walks that control the durations and amplitudes of wave cycle segments. High-level parametric control of the random walks produces a variety of musical behaviors and timbres along the pitch-noise continuum. To this, Xenos adds a pitch quantization feature, allowing the synthesizer to be tuned to arbitrary xenharmonic scales. While that might all sound a bit complicated, Xenos makes DSS easy to use by presenting a simple control panel. The interface is divided in three groups. The pitch section, on the left, contains the pitch random walk parameters. The amplitude section, in the center, contains the amplitude random walk parameters. And the global section, on the right, contains the parameters affecting the amplitude envelope, quantization, and the number of segments per wave cycle. To get started, let's discuss the controls affecting the random walks. Here's what the default settings sound like. Now if I increase the pitch width parameter, we hear the pitch range of the voice increase. The barrier and step random walk settings constrain the pitch movement. Increasing the barrier parameter produces greater jumps between pitches. And increasing the step parameter produces more rapid fluctuation and eventually noise. The distribution menu allows us to choose which stochastic distribution will influence the random walk. These are essentially random number generators that produce different probabilities, and thus have distinctive effects on the wave produced. For example, the Cauchy distribution produces a relatively turbulent pitch fluctuation. <laughs> Now compare this with the smoothness of the hyperbolic cosine distribution. The alpha and beta sliders set the numerical parameters to the distributions themselves. These will tend to affect the range of random number generation, but the particular effects vary by distribution. Consult Appendix B in the user manual for more about the distributions and their parameters. The walk setting allows us to use either a primary or secondary random walk. Xenos defaults to the secondary walk, but the primary walk exhibits a different, more entropic noise character. The amplitude random walk settings are largely analogous to these, but instead of pitch width, here there is a gain slider that sets the amplitude range of the random walk. In practice, this functions like a loudness control. The other parameters function as they do in the pitch random walk with lower barrier and step values producing subtle timbral shifts and higher ones producing noise. Because DSS allows us to independently affect pitch and amplitude, a wide variety of timbres is possible. Although Xenos easily produces experimental sounds, it can also be played like a typical musical instrument. 
Setting a narrow pitch width of about one semitone or less enables deterministic composition or performance via standard MIDI input. In this way, we can easily produce melodies, chords, and polyphony. In this Bach prelude excerpt, note the settings of the amplitude envelope and that we use 32 segments per wave cycle, resulting in a bright harpsichord-like timbre. Now let's demonstrate the pitch quantization feature. We start with a basic glissando setting. Now I'll quantize it to a five limit major scale. The movement of each voice will now snap to the pitches of this scale. And playing several voices simultaneously produces counterpoint. Zenos has several built-in quantization presets and can support arbitrary Zenharmonic tunings. To demonstrate, let's now select the non-octaviating Bolin Pierce scale. It is also possible to load custom scales into Zenos in the Scala file format. Here we see the results of Zeno's parameter automation. Eight parameters are automated over the course of this short harmonic drone, producing time-variant textural and timbral development. All Zeno's parameters can be automated, which offers a lot of creative sound design potential. With certain settings of the amplitude random walk, Zenos can simulate granular synthesis. As the amplitude barrier distance increases, a smooth dynamic contour gives way to an increasingly iterative and chaotic texture. Likewise, increasing the step size results in a much noisier timbre. This presentation has only touched on some of the possibilities of Zenos. For more information and ideas, please see the included user manual and relevant publications. And if you have questions or run into problems, please reach out via the GitHub page. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy using Zenos.